Okay, we're live. And it's Rick. And this is my analysis of the 2024 Kentucky Derby, the 150th running of the Run for the Roses. So we've got a field of 20. So far, there have been no scratches. And looks like the favorite is going to mention a horse, a speedball. If he gets to the front, he could go on. But I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to use him. And there, there's a number of good reasons for that. Uh, first off, let's talk about him. Fierceness is uh, going to be ridden by John Velazquez, trained by Todd Fletcher. And he's the winner of the British Cup Juvenile last year, won by six lengths, and he won the Florida Derby just recently by 13. So he does have other speed inside him. Number eight, just a touch. Number 12, track phenom, who should, both of them will keep him honest, especially number 12, uh, who has Joel Rosario aboard, who will give him no rest. Also, there are some other horses that will be close up. It's a long race. It could be a muddy track. There are a lot of things, reasons that I'm not using them. You can bet them if you like at two to one or it's eight to five, but I'm going to pass on them. Uh, let's, let's get right to uh, what I'm going to do. 20 horses, so obviously we threw a bunch out. Uh, but I broke it down. I came up actually with six main contests. The, the, the top one is Sierra Leone. He is, uh, he looks like the best horse in the race. Uh, he can, he can uh, sit back and then burst to the front with a powerful move. Uh, the owners paid up for this horse, $2.3 million at the Fasig Tipton auction in 2022. But so far, he's been worth the money. He's earned 918,004 starts, uh, winning all of his races, but the Remsen, uh, just number, uh, just behind Doorknock, the number one horse in this race back in December. He's my second, second choice, and uh, I'm going to be using him. Uh, Moving down the list, number four, Catching Freedom, uh, trained by Brad Cox. Brad's got three horses in the race, but this one looks like the best. He's got Flavian and Pratt on board, one of the top jockeys. Uh, this son of Constitution has a late running style that'll put him in the mix down the stretch. He won the Louisiana Derby at Fairgrounds and has earned over 800,000 in five starts. He was third to Sierra Leone in the Risen Star on a sloppy track back in February. So he's a good possibility. He had a nice work April 27th, five furlongs, 59 and one. Uh, number eight, just a touch. Oh, no, we're not using him. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Number seven, Honor Marie. Uh, he's a real outsider looking horse. Um, trained by D. Whitman Beckworth and ridden by Ben Curtis. Two names that, man, nobody knows who they are. But he won the Kentucky Juvenile at Churchill Downs in late November. Not the Breeders' Cup, but a juvenile race at, race at Churchill and ran second to Catching Freedom, number four, uh, in the Louisiana Derby. Uh, by a closing length, he was coming on. He's well bred, cost only forty thousand. Got a solid running style and turned in a bullet work on April twenty fifth of fifty nine and one for five furlongs. I thought he'd be fifty to one, seventy one. It looks like he's going to be around twelve to fifteen to one. And uh, let's move on to the other horses. Number eleven. This is a key horse. Forever young. Out of, Jap out of Japan, trained by Tiyusi Sakai, um, no, ridden by Tiyusi Sakai, trained by Yoshido Yahagi. 
apologies to my Japanese friends for the pronunciation. Um, you know, someday a horse from Japan is going to win the Derby. This one checks all the boxes. He's five for five lifetime. He's the top earner in the field with over two million in earnings. He won the UAE Derby over in Dubai and is very impressive. Uh, it'd be a mistake to leave him off your exotic tickets because he could easily win one. Uh, one caveat uh, regarding that: the long is a lot of people think the long trip from Japan to the Middle East to America takes its toll, and it may. But that probably depends a lot on the horse and how much care the handlers uh, give him. Moving on, we have uh, two more horses, and they're both outside. Number 18, Stronghold. I'm very impressed with this horse. Uh, he's the son of Ghost Zapper, and he's got one of the West Coast leading Rider trainer combinations in Anthony Frazu, the jockey, and trained by Phil D'Amato. Uh, he had a gutsy win over imagination in the grade one Santa Anita Derby on April 6th, and he looks like he's very fit for this race. He earned a solid 98 buyer in that victory, uh, one lower than his best, a 99 in the Los Alamos Futurity in December. Uh, unlike uh, some of the other runners in here, he's got a stalking style. He'll sit just off the pace and spring into action at the top of the stretch, supposedly to catch the leader. Uh, he'll have to overcome that tough tough post, but he's made over 800000 in his career, and he put in a solid 46-3 and three bullet work for four furlongs on April 20th, and that attests to his tactical speed. Right next to him, number 19, is Resilience. Uh, written by Junior Alvarado, William Mott trains. Uh, he's a Hall of Fame trainer, so he knows what he's got. He's got one of the highest buyers, buyers in the field. He earned a 104 winning the Gotham Stakes at Aqueduct on April 6th. Uh, he's written by John Velazquez in that, in that win. But he will get Mock's regular rider, Junior Alvarado, which I believe is a plus. He didn't beat much in that when a top number 20 in this race, Society Man, by two and a quarter lengths. He might be peaking at the right time, still has to overcome that toast, that, that post. So how are we going to play it? Uh, putting down some cold cash on Sierra Leone. Is probably not a bad idea, the number two horse. He could easily win the race because he's got that big turn of foot and will be fair odds at four to one, around four to one. His number two post position is ideal. That gives Tyler Geflion uh, any pick of location to be on the rail and saving ground, which could be a key to the race. He's done everything right so far. The connections are solid. The price may be a little short, but eh, four to one's not too bad. He's no world beater. Nobody in this field is. Uh, but he's already proven better than five different horses in this field that he's already beaten in other races. The other main contenders have got, <coughs> excuse me, number four, Catching Freedom. Number seven, Honor Marie, who I've mentioned. Uh, number 11, um, Forever Young, number 18, um, uh, what's his name, <laughs> 18, Stronghold, who I really believe could win this race, and number 19, Resilience. So we've got six horses. A $1 exact box for six horses costs 30 bucks. Take a shot. I've looked at the probables, and uh, all of them, even with the favorite, Sierra Leone on top, will pay more than $30. <laughs> so you've got, you want a box, two, four, seven, 11, 
18 and 19. Uh, the other bet bets I'll be making is four dollars to win on number two, four dollars to win on number 11, two dollars to win, and four dollars to show on 18 and 19. And then we've got our exact box <coughs> for a total bet of fifty dollars. So if you got fifty dollars to throw away or maybe make a huge payoff if long shots come in. Good luck to everybody. Have fun. The 